yourself by the bootstraps you lay down the hate. I'll drag you. I will give you this M4 and let you do it. We either all die or we all go home. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Howdy, folks. How the hell are you? Welcome back to House of Ashes. In the last video, we raided Haji Bob's village looking for some weapons of mass destruction, and all we found was a cavern full of demons. And wouldn't you know it, in perfect, stunning Marine Corps fashion, we found ourselves in the depths of these caverns fighting for our lives, and that is exactly where we left off. So without further ado, let's get back into it. Yes. Yes, dear. You go find some gas in this cavern. Sorry? What was no. that? Something was glowing. What is this? What is glowing? Is that dynamite? They, somebody was trying to bury this gosh damn cavern. Alright, they didn't want this shit to be found. Does anyone copy over? This is the king of queens? The queen of kings? The queen king? Alright. And, uh, I might not be... The 100% OIC of this particular venture, that would uh, be the Air Force Colonel over there. Uh, I want to know where the hell y'all at. Give me a sit rep. All right, somebody say something. This is King to all call signs. Are you receiving? Over. No, I don't think they are. And I don't know where I would be hiding gas. Oh, no, you don't say, huh? You don't think that the Iraqis were creepy crawling through these tunnels, huh? Any gas in here? I'm looking for some petrol. How can something this vast have remained hidden for so long? Because it was meant to be hidden. All right, these demons were supposed to be like Jimmy Hoffa. All right, a mystery to everybody. There you go, read my mind again. running ASAP. I don't know about that. Uh, it looks like if we get these lights running that there's gonna be a fire. He mentions echolocation. Is this something to do with bats? Autopsy findings. Listen. Blind. Use echolocation to hunt. Characteristics, maybe? Not Hypersensitivity. Exactly sure. Getting highly resistant to physical trauma. Clumsy flyer. Evolution. Unintelligible saliva. Hibernates. Oh. Are you talking about the demons? These demons can fly? They're tough. Each and every one of them. They'll muscle through. Well, they are Marines. That's all they know how to do. Eat shit and kill. Maybe climbing out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. Yeah, the way I see it, if these people were here before us, there must be another way out. Or they're all dead. Yeah, did you ever think of that one there, honey dearest? lover of mine you know this is why we are divorced i just want you to know that this is exactly why we're divorced you have these stupid smart ideas thinking you know everything when clearly this is not a good situation to be in clearly what is this move your coffee cup i'm gonna find out what's going on here 14 october 1946 Randolph. I trust this finds you well. Our journey to the dig has been delayed. We left some heavy equipment behind in Soran because Pullman could only hire half the men and mules needed. Workers refuse to go into the mountains. They are superstitious and cry they will be possessed by demons. They even refuse bonus pay of two dinars each. We have also left the second generator and the spare radio behind with the agent. We should be with you by the 18th. Listen, alright, when the locals start saying there's demons and shit, you need to not you know, ignore them. You need to be like, you know what? These people live here. Maybe they know what the hell they're talking about. All right, but instead, we're looking for weapons of mass destruction out in the middle of Iraq, and now I've got to deal with my soon-to-be ex-husband in a life-or-death situation in the depths of Iraqi architecture that's actually rigged to blow. 
would they do that? Look at this place. It doesn't add up. Looks like they were trying to blow some shit up, baby. All right. Looks like they were trying to blow some shit up. So quickly the store has been blocked off. There's something desperate about it. I wonder who they're trying to keep out. Uh, yeah, that should definitely be on your mind. I don't know who they were trying to block out either, but uh, it doesn't look good, sir. Oh, okay. Where the hell uh, do I go now? At the tape recorder. No, but there's some duct tape. We could use this. That could come in handy. You better save that for later, baby. You never know when we need a good thing of duct tape. I'll take that, thank you. Oh, I like how you just walked up to it and acted like, oh yeah, let's look in this direction. Ooh, gas! Found the petrol! We're saved! Or we're all gonna die. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. How about you give me two hands? About time we had a little luck. <sighs> Not that would have been the perfect time for a dad joke. Wait. Oh, you mean the prosthesis? I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy. I didn't make it. Wait a minute. I know that. Yeah, I know he has a fake leg, but whose fault is it? Come on. Let's get to work. Yeah. Back to work. Oh! It's scampering on the ceiling! Like a little evil Batman demon crossover thing. I see wings. Shine a light on the tank. You have a light on your forehead, homie! Demon in here with us. Shit. What's wrong? Fuel tubes worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Good thing I had that damn duct tape. We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. Gotta be something here to fix it. Yeah, good thing I found that duct tape. I must be smarter than you. We know we know who the brains of this operation is. I don't even know you if you're it. the brawn. Got it. Is this a good time to talk? No, that what? Depends. What's on your mind? Back at the base, you said we'd talk when the time was right. It looks like we got the whole place to ourselves. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I think I'd make a joke right here. I've been talking about dad jokes like, oh man, you really filled me up with gas. So, like, this would be a good time this for a funny joke here. Yeah, I don't know what happened. The reviews were good. No, no, they weren't. Hang on a sec. I think I fixed the leak. I can, the pipe. I can literally still hear the leak. Literally can still hear it. Oh. It's done. Look at that. I am the handiest woman on this side of the Iraqi desert. Hey, give me a hand with this panel. What are we doing now? We just gonna crank her up. Look at the state of these. They're shot. Now you want me to go find spark plugs? Feels like so long since we hooked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Man, this is like a really cringy relationship. We both allowed each other space and this break. I mean, look what it's done for our careers. You, a field officer for the CIA, and, I mean, Kalis could change the face of the entire war. If Deborah decides to work, sure. What? I don't understand I don't these two people. I think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. The past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. You do realize there is a demon in here, right? You are not alone, and y'all are just having some smexy talk. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Your work is bigger than the both of us. 
I don't think either of us could have foreseen the impact it would have. Come on. French. Look, let's be honest with each other. Both of us aren't making it out of this a lot. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rich. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seemed confused, but... She's moved on, homie. Now, it just seems simpler. No, I moved on. I found a new man. Past, Eric. We have to put it behind us and look towards the future. Otherwise, we're just going around in circles. That's a good point. I'm happy to look to that future. Wait, that was a good it's answer. A good we didn't even have to tell him that we're banging the uh, the marine dude over there. Oh, I don't. I yeah 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 yo. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like it. I feel like we're gonna bring down all the demons right on top of us now. We have power. There's a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. That's not entirely accurate, dude. There was literally a cave in. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're back in the action. We're back in the shit. Yeah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Keep. Keep going. Keep going. We got some Willy Pete. We got some Willy Pete. We'll roast these demons alive. Holy shit. Dude, he's spreading his wings like a freaking... Like a... I don't even know. Like a bat out of hell. These things look remarkably like the Jeepers Creepers guy. Would he be the jeeper or the creeper? We gotta go through it. You won't make it. The other way is safer. No. We're going through. Move. We're going through. We gotta go. We gotta make it harder for him. Come on. Come on, buddy. We gotta make it harder for the demons to get us. It's the logical move. See, look, we made it. I mean, the demons. Oh, there's. Oh, they're uh, they're chugging along. I mean, we're taking turns. We're battle buddy in this shit. Although I have an M two three two zero three grenade launcher on my. Oh! Oh! No! You're not eating my nasty goals. No! Oh, dude! Shoot him right in his butt cheeks. Shoot him in his pearls. Oh. oh, oh, my goodness. And we go back to this cringy couple. I want to be the Marine shooting shit. I don't want to be having conversations about our love life. That door is open and I didn't go that way before. So let's try that way first. And that door. You know what? Let's go through this open door. Open door seems like a good policy. That's where I think Eric, it is. Check this out. Oh! -ho -ho! It's a machine gun. World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. Oh yeah. Give it. Get come to daddy. Looks like somebody got them into a hell of a firefight. They're shedding some lead. I want it. I want it. You know what? I got a good feeling about it. This door now. This door got big ass bullet holes in it, so this is definitely where the where the shit went down. Shit went down. Anybody in there? No, nope, not in there. Okay. Hey, uh, Mr. King. Uh, I do have a quick question for you. Do you, uh, by chance, know how the hell we're going to get out of here? Because uh, I certainly do not, and I'm not about to... I'm not about to just start walking around, like, trying to find the exit. The Hogston Expedition, 1942. 
what do you think happened to him? All right, like let, let's just put our heads together. All right, we're I'm a CIA field agent. You're a lieutenant colonel in the United States Air Force, so you got to be smart. You got to have a high ASVAB score. You can't be an idiot. But you're in the Air Force, and you're also a light colonel in the Air Force. So, using our two inquisitive minds, when I see a machine gun pointed at an open door with a shit ton of bullet holes in it, something tells me they weren't just trying to open the front door. Somebody tried to force their way in from the other side. Lee? Really? Are you sure? What makes us so sure about that answer? Where the hell did he go? Look, I mean, I'm glad that I have me a backpack and a uh, headlamp and a pistol. But uh, I would really, really, really... Um, enjoy finding a way the hell out of here. Looks like they got flanked. I don't know what I'm looking at. I've already looked at that. Oh, there he is. I mean, I'm gonna start walking around him. It looks like this is probably the answer. Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? It should. The tape is all tangled up. Well, let's unspool it. You're a handyman. I'm, I'm, I am obviously wear the pants in this relationship, and that is not a joke about you having a peg leg. Something to you. I don't see you wearing yours. Always close to my heart. Woohoo! You're always a good guy. So much has changed. I found a new man. Blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Forgotten what this ring means to me. I want you back, Rachel. Oh my god, dude, this is not the time. We are about to die. Do I want to? I don't want to tell him. I'm not gonna come. I'm gonna say nothing in this. I'm just gonna be quiet and walk away. I knew it. What do you want from me, Eric? The truth would be a good start. What does that mean? Dude, I've been, been getting me some double XL wiener in. Reminds me about that lighter, and it wasn't about a secret smoking habit. Eric, tell please. me the truth. Don't do this. Admit it. If someone else isn't there. Yes, I tried to let you down the easy. The temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore. And growl something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children. Okay. Unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have Are people dying in the background while you're recording this? I fear being taken. But I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. For all mankind. Mary. I'm sorry. Did you just shoot yourself? Bro, I heard that I heard that machine gun freaking laying down the hate. Alright, some shit went sideways. Is that Salim? Oh, come on! Fire back! Really, this is what's on your mind? Shooting me? Yeah, there you go. Don't be afraid to lay down the hate while we drag you out of here, brother. You can still fire. I'm gonna get you the hell out of this situation. I don't care what kind of demon Satan brings at us. All right, I'll send him straight back to hell. The hell is going on? I don't know, man. It was not supposed to play out like this. I think we need some Willie Pete. That's Rachel. Kane, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Say again, over. Yeah. This is Mailman 21 Actual. How can I be over? 2-1 doesn't make a lot of sense if this guy's a lieutenant. 
Two one would be like second platoon, first squad. No. No man left behind. Hold them off, Marwin. Those are not Iraqis. No, no man left behind. Yeah, we. You know what? You can still lay down the hate, brother. I'll drag you the hell out of here. We are not leaving a man behind. All right, you, you, grab yourself by the bootstraps. You lay down the hate. I'll drag you. I will give you this M4 and let you do it. We either all die or we all go home. Nobody's getting left behind. Damn it. What I should do, realistically, I should hand him my M4 so I can drag him, and he has the higher capacity producing weapon to fire with. Serious, and we need to be buddy dragging him. Save the energy. But I mean, they're Marines. What do you expect? He's coming. I feel like that's Salim Salabim. <laughs> I don't know if that is Salim or not. Woo! About tripped myself to my death. You guys do realize you have two guns, right? You guys could totally do a flanking maneuver right now. One of you could have got his attention through fire and the other one could have plugged him in the back of the head execution style. Y'all could have domed him. Oh my. Good golly. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What are we gonna do? Come on. Come on. Don't let our girl die. Oh, shit! What are you gonna do? We're oh! How are we gonna live through this? Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Don't you give up. Don't you give up, big dog. We don't need two legs to win in this scenario. We can do this shit with one. She may have a new man to satiate her third leg needs, but we got these two one and a half legs right here to save her life. You need to swing and grab onto some shit. Damn it, Rachel, will you hold still? You're gonna rub the rope. This is a cliffhanger scenario right now. So sorry, Rachel. What are you doing? Don't you drop her. Oh, I could kill her right now if I wanted. But I'm not. I'm not that type of person. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Dig in. Use that one and a half legs worth of lower body and get that Get and pull her ass up out of the cavern before we get murdered by the Iraqi man down there who's gonna have an easy ass shot for, at us. No. No. No man left behind, no woman left behind. I'm not doing this. We all die or we all go home. What would have happened if I'd have cut the rope? Would she have lived? Would we have both lived? Oh, you douche. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? One life cut short. Ah, whatever. Another lost. She ain't dead. She's a proud, independent woman. Things have taken a turn for the worse, wouldn't you say? Semper fidelis. Yeah, Persistent always loyal. To let go of Rachel cost him more than he ever expected. He paid the ultimate price for his loyalty. 
That is true. He was a good man. Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? No, they're Marines. Which brings they're a unit. To Salim. Salim's just He's an Iraqi. An almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors. Trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. It's inevitable that some lights flicker and die. Mm. How long the remaining flames burn for is up to you. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. Of course! Yes, of course. Why would I not? A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words long is the way and hard but out of hell leads up to light what the hell does that mean that's all for now da! holy shit i just i am responsible for the light colonel's death I'll be, I'll be honest, but no matter what, I will not make decisions that I know will lead to a death. Like, right there. As a lieutenant colonel, we would know 110% if we slice that rope, she's probably dying and we're saving ourselves. That's not the right thing to do. That is not what a soldier would do. All right, he's an airman. She's a CIA operative. Salim is a freaking Iraqi soldier. And the rest are Marines. But at the end of the day... No man slash woman gets left behind. Nobody gets left behind. I'm going to, if it, if my decisions of not leaving people behind ends up in everybody getting killed, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Because nobody gets left behind. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Don't you give up. Don't you give up, big dog. We don't need two legs to win in this scenario. We can do this shit with one. She may have a new man to say she ain't her third leg needs, but we got these two one and a half legs right here to save her life. 